Queen's Platinum Jubilee tarnished by Monarch's puzzling attachment to Andrew. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee has been tarnished by the iniquity of Prince Andrew. And the Monarch's puzzling attachment to her second son, a royal author has claimed. The Queen celebrates her Platinum Jubilee this year, marking her historic 70-year reign as British Monarch. Her Majesty's time on the throne will be marked over a special extended weekend from June 2nd to 5. The four days of celebrations will include public events and community activities such as the Queen's Birthday Parade, Trooping the Colour. A service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral and the Derby at Epsom Downs. However, one royal author believes that the Queen's Jubilee has been tarnished by the recent scandal surrounding Prince Andrew. Writing for the Daily Beast, royal author, Clive Irving, said, This year, what should have been a glorious, unblemished celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee has instead become tarnished by the iniquity of the Queen's second son, and by the puzzle of her attachment to him, demonstrated when he escorted her to her seat in Westminster Abbey for the service celebrating the life of Prince Philip. Her Majesty and Andrew travelled to the Abbey together from Windsor before walking to the front of the congregation that gathered to honour the Duke of Edinburgh. The Queen, who has faced mobility issues in recent months, held on to the arm of her son as he accompanied her to the front pew. It marked Andrew's first public appearance after he reached a settlement with Virginia Roberts Jeffrey who accused him of sexually abusing her when she was 17. Last year, Moose Geoffrey filed a lawsuit against the Duke. Prince Andrew's legal team sought to have the case dismissed, but in January 2022, Judge Kaplan denied the bid for dismissal and ruled that it should go to court. In February, the Duke came to an out-of-court agreement to pay more than £10 million including damages to Geoffrey and a donation to her charity in support of victims' rights.